Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about composition of gestures, so or composing gestures. So uh, SwiftUI, uh, if you see the pattern, it's uh, a lot about view composition. But it's not only about view composition; it's actually about uh, they have taken that concept even further and and actually created a composing aspect uh, for the gestures as well. And uh, SwiftUI provides three main ways to compose uh, your gestures. Uh, so there is uh, basically, first of all, like, you know, let's talk about what composing gesture means. So composing gesture is basically uh, combining uh, two different gestures uh, for different kind of conditions. So, so for example, you can combine a rotation and a scale uh, gesture to be uh, to take effect simultaneously. So that could be one example of composing two different gestures. So simultaneous uh, gesture is one of the uh, gesture that's actually used where um, uh, for composition, where you actually take two gestures and apply them simultaneously on your view. And there is another one that's called sequence gesture. So sequence gesture is actually one after the other. So uh, sequence, uh, you can sequence them. And it, it can be like, you know, more than one. The orchestration actually is uh, really, that's important how you orchestrate on that and how you want your view to behave on different conditions. So there's, there is one called sequence uh, composition, where you actually sequence uh, your gestures uh, that uh, one A gesture would occur, and then only B gesture would occur, okay? So that's the sequence. And uh, third one is called exclusive gesture, and you can actually use that for either or situation where you can say um, either a gesture work or B gesture works. For example, like, you know, you can have um, a view with two gestures, drag and uh, scale and then you can say uh, when drag starts uh, do not apply scale uh, or when scale starts do not apply drag so those kind of situations you can actually compose gestures by using ex uh, exclusive gesture okay so we're going to be uh, taking a look at all of these uh, in uh, next three subsequent videos starting first today so let's go ahead and, and take a look at the first one uh, that's called simultaneous gesture and we're going to get started with that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take a view and we're going to apply pinch or magnification gesture and rotation gesture on those two. And uh, reason I thought like, you know, this is gonna be a good idea now because all the memory of using different kind of gestures is actually really fresh. So you can actually take a variation of applying these gestures right now and learn about that and then apply whatever you want to apply within your app, okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I have the view created I'm going to create a state. For rotation, and we're going to capture it as an angle. I'm going to create a scale of type value CG float. And now it's time to write the body. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a different approach because we are combining two different gestures. So I want to show you how you can create gestures in its own variable. So you can say, or constants, you can say pinch gesture. And uh, simply you can say magnification gesture dot on change. And here we get the value and we simply apply that value on the scale. Okay. And uh, next you can create rotation gesture. And you can apply, once again, you can apply on change. So we get the angle, so we simply say uh, self.rotation is equal to the value that we are getting. Okay, uh, so those are two gestures. So now let's uh, talk about composing those. So we're gonna say pinch and rotate. And we're gonna simply say 
pinch gesture dot simultaneously okay that's a simultaneous gesture and we're going to give the next gesture uh, that's going to be rotation gesture okay so this is going to orchestrate basically this is this keyword is going to tell how you're orchestrating your gesture okay and now you say simply say image so you create your image You apply the scale effect and you give scale value that, that's being observed and you apply the rotation effect and you give it a rotation value and then you simply say gesture pinch and rotate like so okay and uh, with this our example is ready to run so let's go ahead and take a look Right. Uh, okay, so it's built, and uh, let's go ahead and run this in the canvas. And once again, I'm going to try to hold Option key, and uh, there we go. So as you can see, our pinch and zoom is working simultaneously. Okay. So yeah, so that's how you can actually apply. Uh, or combine uh, gestures, or in Swift UI terms, uh, compose gestures to create a uh, unique and new experience. Now, um, you could actually do this, like you know, without using uh, compositions for simultaneous and all these things. Uh, but uh, this is uh, compiler optimized, so Swift UI in internally understands how the simultaneous um, composition works and it actually optimizes that for you because if, if you notice by looking at different kind of gestures you might have already seen that value the on change value changes every single time with the type of the um, type of the gesture that you're applying so Swiftia knows how to orchestrate that and basically put that forward now simultaneous is one of the composition, but there are several, like, you know, two more that actually show this in more practical and more realistic way, like, you know, gives you more variations. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take a look at the next one uh, in the next video to see how that one actually works. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.